guys! So I'm here today with what I hope will be a quick video. I know I say that every time and every time it's not quick. So today I'm going to show you five things that are new to me that I've discovered at the drugstore over like the last month or so and I've really 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 been enjoying and these are things that might not necessarily make their way into a monthly favorites video because they're the kind of products that um, except for maybe one. They're the kind of products that you just start to use every day on a daily basis and if you do that over a period of time sometimes you don't think oh yeah that's a monthly favorite so I have to put it in there. So just some things that are new to me. They're not necessarily new at the drugstore. I think some of them could be like depending on where you live and when they launch things but they're things that um, I have discovered that I've really been enjoying and there's one product, an honorable mention, there's only supposed to be five products, but there's six because uh, even though this first product that I'll show you is not a new to me product, they've changed it just lately. They've changed the packaging, so I really wanted to mention it. And I've talked about this before. It's the Garnier Fructi uh, Sleek and Shine Conditioner. And even though I don't use the shampoo, I love this conditioner. It's probably my favorite drugstore conditioner because it does a really good job of sealing in the frizz like it it closes the cuticles and makes your hair um sleek and shiny as it says on the package and the reason why i wanted to mention this is i have loved this for years but it used to come in a squeezy tube and it was totally awesome then they changed the package and even though the product was still totally awesome they put it in like a more um you know traditional kind of shampoo bottle and it was a hard plastic that you couldn't squeeze so it was really hard to get the thick product out it's got the same consistency as like a treatment a hair mask treatment does um, but they've changed the packaging and now it's nice and squeezy again and it's super easy to get it out and I bought the industrial size tub of it 750 mils and um, I think it was like six bucks or something so really great if you've got frizzy hair um, like your humidity hates your hair uh, try this from the drugstore it's really good it's got argan oil in it and it's not too heavy on the hair it doesn't like weigh it down it just does a really good job of sealing in um, like sealing or banishing the frizz whatever now I'm gonna show you the five products that are new to me um, new to the drugstore even and I've really been enjoying them so first up we've got three hair care products and then two kind of makeup products so the first is a new dry shampoo. I really like the Colab um, dry shampoo. How many times are you gonna say dry shampoo? But it's, they had it stocked in some stores in Canada. Now I can't, I'm having a really hard time finding them in my local stores. So I was at the drugstore trying to find a new one. And I came across this finesse keratin dry shampoo refreshing formula sprays clear because that's really important to me so it's like three dollars at the drugstore it has keratin protein in it so it's good for dry hair um, it does not have a heavy powdery texture to it so it doesn't give you that kind of like oomphy powdery volume that you get from a lot of dry shampoos but if you just want to fresh up and you want to kind of give your hair a nice fresh scent um, and you're not you don't want to spend a ton of money try this because it's really good okay another hair product as I said three uh, things for your hair this is uh, the Garnier whole blends hydrating rinse out mask and I've been seeing these Garnier whole blend displays like pop up like crazy in every drugstore that I go into whole blends promises to pro to provide hair care that really cares good for your hair in the world we live in paraben free formulas gentle for everyday use Blended with a select ingredient that gives back. Our argan ingredient is purchased fairly and sustainably to support local farmers and communities. So I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but anyway, I wanted to give it a whirl. Uh, the one that I picked out is the hydrating rinse out mask with coconut water and vanilla milk. Whatever vanilla milk is. There's no milk and a vanilla bean, but okay. I always gravitate towards hydrating formulas because I have dry hair and I like to keep it soft, and stop it from going dry, and I like a good mask. I wish, though, that manufacturers would start producing these hair masks in squeezy tubes as opposed to tubs 
because there's, you know, there's nothing more disgusting than like you're in the shower and it's like, okay, I have a shower where I don't have any ledges. Everything kind of hangs on my shower head. So it's like, I don't have anywhere to put stuff. So I pick this up and it's like, okay, I've got this. I got to put this down. And usually I kind of hold it like this and then scoop out a big blob of it with my hand and then put this lid back on before I can, before it all falls out of my hands and then put it in my hair. So I just wish they, they would start manufacturing hair masks in squeezy tubes that would be really great if you're listening it's a pretty good consistency like it's not too thick it's kind of like got the consistency of a moisturizing cream i guess it smells delicious definitely smells of coconut and vanilla but it's it definitely like synthetic um you just put it into your hair after you shampoo and you leave it in for three minutes and then you rinse it out and it's really nice so far i've been really enjoying it so i re i recommend it the price point's pretty good garnier for me just probably my favorite hair care brand in the drugstore um i just because i've had so much luck with everything that i use Oddly, I don't use a lot of their shampoos and conditioners. I tend to favor their conditioners over the shampoos, but their treatments are really good. So I would recommend that. Next up is a product that has saved my life since I got it. Well, it's not saved my life, like please, but it's been a really big help. Let's just say that. Um, I color my hair because my hair is really, like the gray hair is coming in full force and I've been coloring my hair probably since my 30s like that's when my hair started to go like I started to go white very very early and it gets really bad up in here and I go I try to go to the salon every six to eight weeks because it's so expensive to get your hair done and to um you know like every time you want to go and get a color and a cut I mean it's expensive to do that once a month so I try to space it out to six to eight weeks so around two weeks before I go to the salon, I know it's like, it's time to go to the salon because the whites start to creep back. I don't know if you'll be able to see. They creep back here on the temples and definitely um, along my part. And But for some reason this month, I started using um, a shampoo from the body shop, the banana shampoo, and it just totally stripped the color out of my hair really quickly. So two weeks after I colored my hair, um, I was starting to see the grays come through and so I was gonna go I knew I had to wait like four weeks to go back to the salon so I was gonna go and get one of those root touch-up coloring kits and I came across this the L'Oreal root cover-up temporary gray concealer spray it's like a powdery product that's got color in it and the color that I have is dark brown this thing is amazing so I mean it's the same principle as putting dry shampoo in your hair like if you're gonna put that kind of powdery product in your hair, it shouldn't matter whether it's colored or not. And this has just been so great. So you just kind of spray it where the grays are coming in and it totally blends into your hair and it stays put until you shampoo your hair like the next day or whatever. So if you get like rained on, it's not gonna run down your face. And I wouldn't recommend like spraying it all over your whole head, but just to put on like on your part, like I put it around my temples and I put it, you know, down my part, like whatever part is showing, like I don't go crazy and, and try to cover everything, but just where my part is on that day, that's where I'll spray it. And it, I, it, it's just been great because there's so, it's so distressing because my hair is so dark. So when the white starts to come through, it's really contrasting and you can really see it. And I don't like it. It just, it makes, it's not that it's a bad thing or anything, but it just, it makes me uncomfortable. You know, it's a personal thing. So having this has just totally saved me because now I can go the six weeks or whatever in between salon visits. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just been great. And it's $11.99 and it's easy to work with and it doesn't go all over the bathroom. And I highly recommend it for anybody who has the same issue that I have. Next up is the Garnier, oh, another Garnier product. Skin Active Micellar Water All-in-One Cleansing Water. And this is in the waterproof mascara version. And this is new-ish. It's been in stores here in Canada for a couple of months now. I think since just before Christmas. And the reason why I'm showing this is um, as a my micellar water, I would not recommend this because it has, um, it's got like a dual phase oil suspension system in here to help dissolve waterproof makeup so 
putting it all over your face, you're kind of left with a greasy film. So the whole point of a micellar water is you're supposed to be able to wash, not wash, but clean makeup off your face without having to rinse it. And with this one, you do have to rinse it. However, what I love it for is it's really good at taking off um, waterproof mascara. So for $9 or $8, you get 400 mils of a really good uh, waterproof eye makeup remover. Because usually, Eye makeup removers come in tiny little pots and they're super expensive. Like they're so disproportionately expensive. So to me, this is a really great bargain. 400 mils and like I said, it's about eight to nine dollars. And then they have another version in a red bottle that does not have the waterproof and it's more of a one, like if I shouldn't have shaken it, but you'll see like it starts to separate. Like I said, not the greatest for all over the face because it's a little greasy, but really good value for money as a eye makeup remover. Really good. And lastly is something that's totally not new, but again, new to me, and it's the L'Oreal Telescopic Telescopic? Telescopic Mascara. Uh, when I was in high school, it was either high school or university. I used a mascara from L'Oreal called L'Oreal Lash Out, and I loved that because it gave such good volume and good definition, and it did, or not volume, length. It gave good length, good definition, and a little bit of volume, and I've really been missing it, and I only discontinued it years ago, so I've heard lots of people talk about the telescopic. L'Oreal is not my favorite mascara formula because it tends to be... Um, clumpy and that gives you like spider lashes a lot of people like that like I find people are divided you either really like L'Oreal mascaras or you don't use them at all and I'm in the camp where I don't use them at all but I've been using so many like really um, volumizing mascaras for so long I wanted something that gave a little bit of a length and just kind of gave more of a natural look I guess instead of like such thick volume so I gave this a whirl I really like it um, the packaging is gimmicky it looks like a you know, like one of those little woo, telescopes. Um, but other than that, it's fine. Uh, the color I have is black as black. And it has a funny little, really super skinny um, uh, brush. So it's really lengthening and it separates. It is a little clumpy, like it's a little spider leggy looking, spider lash. Uh, which is okay because I'm just I wanted something new I wanted like a fresh kind of look I mean is it the same as the lash out no but it's really nice so I've been enjoying that for the last couple of weeks I just wish they had a waterproof version although I will say it doesn't smudge the reason why I got a new one is because I'm having such a problem lately with um, my all of my mascaras smudging underneath my lower lash line even if I powder don't know what it is just got a humidity issue going on I guess under my eyeballs um, so it doesn't smudge, which is great, but I wish it was waterproof. I just have a thing. I like waterproof. Okay, so there you go. That short video turned out to not be so short because I can't shut up. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!